Today I show you how to change the default SMS app on your Android phone. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5, but this you can do this on really any Android phone. This is Android 14 and it will work on earlier versions of Android or even Android 15 and Android 16 in the future. They wouldn't really change too many of these things. The app I'm using for SMS and RCS is the Google Messages app and you might want to use another app and you can really use any app like this. The way I show you, it's, it's going to work for the Messages app from Google or any other app that you might find in the Play Store. To install the Messages app from Google, you go to the Play Store and search for Messages. In the Play Store, you search for Messages and make sure you tap on the app that is from the Google LLC, not some other apps. This is the icon and it's Google Messages. It's a very simple app. It's a SMS client. Once you install it, I already have it installed. You would tap here install if you didn't have it installed and then you can open it. And I really put it next to the phone. I also use the same app from Google for the phone, but now I'm showing you the messages app. So the messages app, you tap on the messages app in the messages app. Once you open the messages app, you will have a list of contacts. I'm not showing that for privacy reasons. And then here in the corner, you will have this. Here you have the options to see the archived messages, the spam and block messages, because you can also filter messages with spam. This is very useful to block the spam SMS and RCS messages. You can also mark all the messages as read to clear everything. You can also see the data they, they have. These messages, they are stored in the cloud. So when you restore to another phone, it will bring the SMS messages and RCS messages to new phone very quickly. It's part of the Google backup when you backup your whole phone. So message settings here. On the message settings here, you get this screen. And I believe the most important is RCS chats. Here you can have SMS messages between phones with through internet without using the carrier SMS technology, you use mobile mobile internet or Wi-Fi. I have to remember to mask my phone number here, but you will be able to enable or disable RCS messages and you will have your phone linked. Your phone number will be linked to this so that someone, when you send the RCS message, it will be sent from your number, from it will display your number. And you can, sh you can send the receipts or show if it's your typing. These are privacy settings, really. These are a few settings for privacy. You can send read receipts or not. I chose it to send read receipts. Show typing indicator. So if you're typing a message, the other person will see that you're typing. So they know that you're going to send them a message and automatically resend as a text. Switch from RCS chat if a message can't be sent. I will leave it like this off because I want to know to control it if I if I want to enable it or disable it. You can also change the settings to auto download file up to 100 mega. I think that's more than enough for a uh, RCS message and auto download files while roaming for sure. No, you can learn more about, you can learn more about the RCS messages. They are really useful to be able to send messages without using the carrier SMS technology you use Wi-Fi or the mobile data. The notifications, you can change a lot of settings for notifications, the bubbles also you can allow or disable bubbles. And you have really a lot of there are a lot of a lot of settings here. The spam protection, I believe the spam protection is the most important. And here you have just this setting to enable the spam protection. You can uh, use this to detect spam messages and they will go in the spam folder. You can also, if you receive an SMS message that you don't want to receive, you can block them, you can set it as spam. Once you have the Google Messages app or whatever app you want to use for messages for SMS installed, you have to set it as the default app for to receive SMS messages because you, you it's not enough to install the app. During the install process, it might it might try to help you to set itself as default if you use if you use this app, another app it might be able to do it or not. To set an app as default for SMS and RCS, you go to settings. In settings, you find the apps 
option here and here in the apps screen you find the setting for default apps tap on default apps and you will see browser app core redirecting app core id app digital assistant home app phone app these are important ones for for what we're talking about now you can change the phone app the default phone app I only have one phone app from the system default from actually this is the Google app for the phone and the SMS app here if I had another app that could send and receive messages I could choose it as here just another option maybe three four I could have and that's all really to change the maybe you need to save it on different phones it might be a little bit different but this is how you change it and you can always change it back to how you had it before you always come to this menu for default apps here and you can change the default app and whenever you receive an sms message after you do that whenever you receive an sms message the phone will know to go to the app that you set in my case the google messages app to receive an sms and this one because it has a spam blocking feature it will block the message if it's a spam it's simple Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comment section below if you use the Google Messages app or what apps you use for messages and why. Why are they better than other ones? Thanks for watching.